We're getting geared up. We're heading to Ontario to go after some big walleyes and pike. I'm taking my niece Kaylee. She's never been on an Ontario experience before. I'm super happy to be able to take her up there. She's actually a, a fish head. She fished on a fishing lake in high school. She loves the fish, but she's never been to Ontario. I think she's pretty excited to go on this trip. Super excited. I've been watching my Uncle Ty catch big walleyes and pike up in Ontario for a long time now. I'm jealous of him. I can't wait to go. When he was asking me, his words couldn't even get out of his mouth before I said yes, and I'm just so pumped to go up there. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's a fly-in. She's never been on a float plane. We're going to the Algoma region of Ontario. Hey, I've been fishing in Ontario for well over 40 years and have some great fishing memories, not to mention some very close friends. Ontario has some of the best multi-species freshwater fishing in the world. Ontario has a special place in my heart. The Ontario Experience captures all of this and more as hosts Troy Linder and Ty Shadeen explore new places, meet some authentic characters, and experience world-class fishing and hunting along the way. The Ontario Experience is the next best thing to going on the adventure yourself. And who knows, this unique show just might give you some ideas for your next fishing or hunting trip. Packing for the trip, our adrenaline was riding on an absolute high. Rig for some walleye and pike fishing, I couldn't have been happier to accompany my niece Kaylee on her first Ontario fishing adventure. She was beyond excited too, and we were both ready for the float plane trip to Watson's KB Lodge. The drive gave us time to talk through the upcoming trip, and couldn't have imagined anyone more prepared for what Ontario has to offer. Then, before we knew it, we were at White River Air, and on our way to another Ontario experience. Riding in a float plane with an experienced pilot, and being able to take in the sheer wonder of the surroundings from the air, if you've never flown into a camp before, you need to make sure it's on your bucket list. This segment is brought to you by Tourism Northern Ontario. Part of the natural beauty to fishing or hunting in Ontario are the epic sunrises and sunsets. Day two of our trip was no exception as we began our day with a fantastic home cooked breakfast to fuel up for a fun day on the water. All right, you ready to go get some fish, Keely? Oh, yeah, first time in Ontario. Can't wait to catch some big Ontario walleyes. I have a feeling it won't take long to get you on some fish. Oh, gosh. Good. Oof. All right. Perfect. Let's get out there and catch some fish. Thanks. Did something hit it. It's a good sign. There we go. <laughs> Came back. Ah, walleye. Woo! Look at that, Kaylee. Nice. First walleye of our trip. Woo! Woo, just use a little limber leech. Popping it off and jiggling it off the bottom. Sweet. Start. So you may be wondering why I have a Helix 
unit in the boat when they actually have a nice Helix 5 here. Well, I like to bring this because I've, it's a, number one, it's a seven, it's got a bigger screen. I can split screen, I got sonar on one side, I got GPS. This lake is not mapped, so what I'm doing right here, as you can see here, I've got auto chart live on, and it's actually charting this, these depths. So right now, this, we're in six feet, pretty much catching all these fish so far in six feet of water. This does get down to 10 in this, this uh, river here that comes out of KB Nakagami. So it's very useful to, for me to be able to come up here and, and, and basically map the lake so I know where these fish are. Yes, I, they've got, again, they've got a great sonar unit, a Helix 5 here, those are awesome. So it's just nice to have my unit, I'm very used to it. I don't necessarily always know what they've got at, at the lodges, so it's a great piece of equipment for me to bring uh, on all of my destinations. There we go. There you got one, Kaylee. Woo! Get in there. That's <laughs> swinging in the ice. Yes, nice Finally, job, Kaylee. Got one in the boat. Walleye, walleye for Kaylee. Yeah. Someone's having shore lunch. Yeah. Can eat Keep now. that one. <laughs> I can get it out. There we go. All righty. What were you doing there, Kaylee? Oh, it's just jigging it every few seconds off the bottom, let it fall back down, and they usually bite it on the way down. Finally got my first Ontario walleye, and it's a nice eater size, so. Perfect. They taste better when you catch your own. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. It'll throw it back here. Sounds good. I've had shore lunches across Ontario, but definitely rate Watson's KB Lodge as one of the finest, and something to look forward to. Besides the incredible customer service to make you feel right at home, their awesome culinary treats will have you wanting to stay longer. I promise. First Ontario shore lunch for Kaylee, and so they got a bunch of different kinds of way they make fish here. It's so delicious. So the key with the KB broil is you take a nice thick slice of our homemade bread and put it on the bottom of the serving. And then you take a good, good scoop of all that wonderful fish and the juices and the tomatoes and the onions and the citrus, <laughs> put it on top of the bread and you get to eat it with all that wonderful buttery sauce. Favorite here at KB Lodge. This segment is brought to you by Go Fish Ontario, Canada. There we go. Got one, Kaylee. Ooh, a jack. Northern. Ah. Figured nice. a few of these would be in here too. Oh yeah. There we go. Nice. A little jack. Yeah. Boy, they fight. Terrible. You know what? They are still fun to catch. Nice, not too bad. There. Nice. There we go. This little jack. They're in here eating the walleye. That's what these things are doing right now in this little spot. There we go. All right. Look at that. That didn't take long. Like you said. Walleye. Hi. There's a little better one, Keely. Oh, yeah. There's another walleye. First one of the 
day today on this spot, I should say. <laughs> We've been catching some walleyes. Yeah, I just come around this corner, I was like, boy, there looks like there's a few marks there, so. It's good eater size walleye up here. My favorite size right there. 14, 15 inches, they taste so good. They curl up so nice when you fry them. But this one's lucky today. <laughs> Getting to the spot where we were catching them yesterday. Right here. Look at this one here. Look Ooh. at this one here, Kaylee. Nice. Another walleye. Nice. Getting one. Uh -huh. Quiet about that one. There we go. Nice little eater walleye. You know, sometimes coming up here, it's not always about the size. I mean, we're eating a bunch of these walleyes. These are good size eating, but it's the person you're with. I mean, Kaylee and I are having a lot of fun up here catching just a ton of walleyes. She's catching her, her she caught her first Ontario walleye. She's never been up here before, like we were saying before. You know, it's just fun, fun to come up in a fly-in destination and just catch a ton of fish and spend some time with somebody you really care about. So this has been a lot of fun so far. Yeah, it's all about who you're with. Oh, <laughs> just dropped it down, Keely. That was quick. There we go. Actually, there's a good patch of these grassy weeds. They're unfishable, but if you get right up alongside there, and I think it's like six feet, six and a half feet to seven feet, these fish are I think you're actually holding it coming out of those weeds. Another one. Look at that. Oh, oh that was a fish. Missed him. That was a fish. <laughs> it actually looked like a little nicer yeah, one. Yeah, he felt nicer. He didn't take my or my minnow. I'm gonna go back over there. Oh stinker. Dang it. So actually that's a long shank. If you can get it back in his mouth as far as you can and then up through the, through the mouth, that's they'll long. hang on a little bit better. Yeah. They do bite really light though. Yeah, I might actually, oh, there we go. <laughs> there it is. I think we're on a spot here, Kaylee. Look at that. Yeah. Huh? Cookie cutters. Cookie cutter eaters. That's what we call them, cookie yeah. cutter eaters. They are not huge, but they are cookie cutter eaters and they are delicious. My favorite size. There we go. Actually, I'm using all I'm using is a, just a hair jig. You can see that hair will dance down there. I'm just popping off the bottom again. We're only at six and a half feet, so I'm not lifting it very high. I'm just actually fluttering this this jig down there, and they're just coming up and scooping it up. So, I'm not using bait every time. Sometimes I'm when it starts getting a little slow, just to try to find them. But once you find a school of them, you don't really even need bait. You could put. A minnow, you can put plastics on it, all that stuff works, but it actually works just as well alone because you get that, that hair dancing when you're when it's in the water and you're just barely fluttering that, that hair jig. So it's a super cool bait to use for walleyes when you're when you're on top of them. You're not worrying about rebaiting constantly. Um, but when it gets a little tougher, maybe when you're searching for them, you're not finding them, maybe tip it with a, a, a minnow just to try to get out of school again. But I like to use no bait just because I'm not rebaiting every five minutes. There we go. Oh, that one Dang. crushed it. That might be a pike. I think that's a northern. Oh, yeah. Yep. That's <laughs> the way he oh, hit it. I was stinker. like, whoa. <laughs> that's a little better pike, actually. Yep. There we, there we go. Another jagged tail the way that one hit. He just absolutely unloaded on my hair jig. There we go. Again, another fighter. Another fighting pike. Get him back in there and catch some more walleyes. Although a jig and a minnow is a staple walleye presentation that's worked for countless decades, did you know there's a technique that often works equally as well, in fact, sometimes better, and it requires no live bait? Consider casting pitching, vertical jigging, or pulling a rapala jigging rep behind a boat. If there's anything close to a magical artificial walleye presentation, the jigging rep is it. Combine a seven or nine jigging rep with a seven foot medium power, fast action spinning rod, 10 pound monofilament, and a short 12 to 15 inch floral carbon leader tied to the mono via a barrel swivel and you'll be amazed by how it produces on walleye waters. Hey, if you haven't given it a shot, it's about time you did. There we 
we go. It's a little better walleye. Hey, that's a better one. Walleye, 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 walleye. <laughs> it's just walleye after walleye. Is this kind of the, what we're doing on this trip? Yeah, beautiful gold. Another one, Keely, huh? Your turn again. One. Yep, that's my turn now. There we go. There we go. That actually sounds a little bigger. Uh. Kinda. Yes, no, maybe so. Or unless the... Here we go, Kaylee. Alrighty. Nice job. Sweet. That's a good walleye for Kaylee. Yeah. Right. Nice fish. It's been a ton of fun catching a bunch of eater-sized walleyes up at Watson's KB Lodge. If you're looking to come catch nice walleyes like this, this is the perfect place to do it. Alright, I'm catching them on a little yellow and white hair jig with a little red eye. It's working nice. To come up here and, and use some other different techniques, different baits to really build her confidence. She's catching just a ton of walleyes on a hair jig, right? So it's a little bit different jig, it's still a jig. And to let her know and show her that you don't necessarily always have to bait it with, with minnows because it does work alone. So Ontario is a great place to, and a playground to build that confidence on these different baits that, that maybe you haven't used before. Or back home you're like, well, I'll give it five minutes. I'm not catching anything, it doesn't work. But to come up here where there's a lot of walleyes and to see that it actually does work and sometimes outperform live bait, a jig and a minnow, or some other presentations that you're used to using. So it's, she's seeing right now that just a plain hair jig does work. I've learned mainly everything I know from my dad and my uncle and family. Being on the fishing team has also taught me several new techniques, which has helped me a lot with how I fish. And just being able to put my passion into a high school team and sport like that is, makes it even more fun. There we go. Ooh. I knew there was fish down there. Yeah. There's nice. a nicer one. That's a nice one. Sweet, there we go, look at that. Awesome. Much better. That is perfect. Nicer fish out here on the main lake. We're in the river system that, that comes uh, out of Kibi Nakagami. I'll take these size walleyes all day long. Look at that, that's much better. Much better fish. Told ya. All right. I called it. <laughs> I called it. I called that one. It's a nice pike. We went right over the top, but I go, that's a big pike. Sweet. Nice and easy, nice and easy. That's a nice fish. That is Come a nice fish. Come on. Ooh. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Loose. All right. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It. <laughs> there we go, Kaylee. Woo! Oh, oh Jesus, <laughs> he cool. flipped right over right it. Back, right back. Woo! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> nice. Nice work. Kaylee, I called it. I go, we You're just right. went over a big pike. I guarantee you, I saw Perfect. the mark. I saw the mark on the, the helix. Wait till you nice. see this one. This is a nice fish. That's a nice one. Look at that girl. That's a good one, Kaylee. Yeah. I'm let you hold that up. Let me get the get this hook out. I'll let you grab hold of yeah. it. Yeah. Get your hands on it. Boy, he wasn't coming off. Put your hand right there. Be careful of the right where my hand right. is there. Come up and grab underneath the Ooh. belly. Look at there. That's a nice one. There you go, girl. Yeah. <laughs> That's a better fish. Finally. There you go. It's a beauty. Hold the horizontal up there. There you go. Nice fish. Nice. <laughs> yeah. I just went over this fish. I saw that, that mark on the Warning. helix. And I go, Kayla, we're going over a big pike. Catch it. Boom. Like two seconds later, she yeah. drills it. Nice work. Perfect. You know, let's get a quick photo with that. And All then right. we'll get it right back in. That was awesome. Boy, that couldn't happen any better. Bang, bang, on electronics, on our line. What a fun fish to catch. Mm -hmm. You know what? It's been a great week here. We came up, Keely came with me on her first Ontario experience. She, her first time in Ontario, caught her first walleye and a bunch of walleyes, and now caught her biggest pike up here in Ontario. 
It's been a great experience. I can't thank my Uncle Ty enough for bringing me up here and Tom and Michelle at Watson's KB Lodge. They've been great hosts and it's just been a great time up here.